Hey guys! Today we're gonna do caramelized spice pineapple. That's very hard to say for a French dude. <laughs> so the recipe is really simple, it's very fast, it takes about 15 minutes. It's a really nice dessert. For that you're gonna need sugar and butter as main ingredient, four spice, cinnamon, some chili powder and salt and at the end we're gonna flambe it with some rum. So let's get started. We're gonna cut the pineapple. I'm gonna show you how to cut a pineapple very fast. So cut the head with a bread knife. It's much easier. Cut the bottom. If your pineapple is ripe, it's much better, this recipe. And then you're gonna do one first cut to the pineapple and then you're gonna follow this line again. And every time you cut, you tend to have this blade cutting the, the edge. Yeah, you just follow the edge. If you have a whole pineapple, we ate a little bit yesterday evening, but if you have a whole pineapple, you're gonna end up having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sides. From there, you want to cut from the center. You wanna cut a big slice like this. If the heart is here, and if your pineapple is old, you're gonna cut like this, and then like that. So, you follow the heart, and then you end up with this big guy, and then we we'll do our cuts. There we go, so it gives up slice like this. There's still gonna be a little bit of fiber here, so it's gonna stay all. And then it's about centimeter? yeah about a centimeter. For the rest of the pineapple, we cut the two other sides and do the same trick again. So you're gonna end up with your heart here, and here you're gonna have two nice slices that you can once again cut like this. So all you need for this recipe is a pan, the biggest you have because then you can do more at a time. So first, butter. Obviously, the more butter, the better. It's a, it's a saying in English, right? The, the <laughs> French. More, <laughs> French. The more butter, the better. But for the pineapple, you need about 40 grams, but I'm not gonna wait anything. I'm just gonna go for it. Bam. So I'm not gonna put my spice on my ananas before I'm gonna caramelize it. So I'm gonna start with four spice. If you don't like four spice, just put cinnamon. My chili, this is homemade chili powder. Okay, and a bit of salt. I did the last time, I'm gonna flip them. So that's a very good recipe for Christmas time. It's really nice and it's so easy to make. If you like chili, you will love this recipe. Okay, so the butter is now melting. I'm gonna turn up the heat. The heat. I am gonna turn up the heat. <laughs> and once you can hear the butter singing, we go. So in this box is uh, brown sugar mixed with granulated sugar. You can use a mix, you can use brown sugar if you want, as you want. Especially not uh, white sugar, please. This is very bad. Use unrefined sugar. Voila, unrefined. So from now I'm gonna put about 30, 40 grams of sugar onto my pineapple. About three spoon and we'll come back to the other side. Now you can leave it for about three minutes to have some color and then we're gonna flip it. So from now it's been about three minutes and you can see on the side here, the bubbles are getting thicker, which means that the sugar and the butter are starting to caramelize a little bit. So we can flip our pineapple. Uh, my pineapple is flipped. I'm gonna give a last little sprinkle of sugar. So once again, uh, wait about two to three minutes, uh, you're gonna see once again the bubbles coming to start to caramelize. You can give a little shaky shake, so the liquid is going everywhere. 
Now we're gonna leave it for two to three minutes again. So you can see again on the side of the pan, the bubbles are starting to get thicker. I'm gonna flip one last time my pineapple and then we're gonna get ready to do the flambe. You can see it's nice brownish, just starting to caramelize. Okay, so we are about to be ready to flambe it in about a minute. I'm just gonna show you meanwhile uh, this rum. This rum is called Coquelicorn. My brother is producing it in France is one of the only distillery of northwest of France and is one of the only one to make French rum in France metropolitan because in France we have a lot of islands and like Réunion and Martinique and those are known to be uh, very famous places to make rum as it's in the, Car it's in the Caribbean but this one is from northwest of France metropolitan Coquelicorn okay and if you want to check it out, we'll leave a link down below. So you can see from now after you flambe it, the sauce is really caramelly and gloopy, it's nice, it's like, you can see it's thick and uh, uniform. So I just, I just turn off the heat right now. Cool, so now it smells Christmassy and delicious and you're ready to plate. So I'm just going to put my slice of pineapple. So for the chantilly, I'm just cutting half uh, vanilla. You start with your blade and you don't go through the both sides, you're just gonna cut one side. Okay. And then place your blade inside here. And then you pull it all and spam. Because it's not cut in half, you can do it at once. Really efficient. Cool. So to do a fast chantilly, I'm actually never using any measurement. But if you have to, a chantilly is 10% of sugar for the amount of cream. So for a chantilly, first you're gonna whip your cream till it gets a little bit thicker and then you're gonna add your sugar. Little pro tip, if you want to make the best chantilly in the world, you're gonna add up to your chantilly 10% as well of mascarpone and it's gonna make the most incredible chantilly you've ever tasted. Okay, so right now my cream is just starting to get thicker. I'm going to add my sugar. If you have crystal sugar, it's the best. But we do with what we have since we're in the van. And now you're going to see from then, it's going to go really fast. So now you can see as you're giving the whisk, the cream is solid. So. The chantilly is finished. Charlotte? Mm. <laughs> okay, so finish the plating. I'm now just gonna dispose some chantilly on my plate. And just finish with some cinnamon so it looks good. And voila! You have your caramelized spicy pineapple. Charlotte, how is it? Super yummy! <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed this recipe, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think.